we're down to six rolls. No silver in the box yet. But it could all change in the last six. It could all change in the last five. I don't expect it, but it's always nice to find it. It's a weird little thing, one state. Oh. I flipped one of these over. I found an interesting webbing on it. I've put it on Instagram and, and YouTube. You always want to look at both sides. A couple of the years, uh, from 2001 to now, they weren't meant for circulation. So they go for a few more dollars than, uh, than the regular. That one was nice and shiny. So I'm on the lookout for them too. I'll probably put them up as a mass mass bid, like get five random years. But who knows? Right now, I still got a box of coins I've packages that I need to put on eBay. I've been having too much fun going through it and not wanting to take the the pictures and actually post them. Might post some tonight after I'm done. Try to have them all throughout the week. So that way the auctions end on different days. And no, I don't know if that benefits me or not. It's just what I like to do. I mean, certainly they could all end at once and somebody could bid on more. But while they're there, they could also bid on more when the auction ends. Usually if the auction ends within a day or two, I'll shoot them a message and let them know that when they both end is when I'll ship the coins. That way they get all of them at once. Still looking for that 71 silver Denver planchet. But all right, that's it for today. A couple of bicentennials, but nothing too crazy. Thank you. I'll see you guys on the next one.